Hey guys, welcome to the Jam and Stamper. Um, sorry it's been a few days, I, I got hurt so I'm a little bit behind on everything. Um, but I'm feeling better today so I thought I'd do a video for you. We'll just do, it should be a pretty quick video. Um, we're going to do a project with one of our new stamp sets from the Occasion Catalog. This is Dragonfly Dreams. Um, this is a clear photopolymer stamp set. Um, I believe you can also get this one on wood blocks if you want, but I don't do wood blocks anymore. Um, okay, so let's just get started, okay? Um, so I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This piece is eight and a half inches tall by two and a half inches wide. And I am going to need a background paper to do this today, okay? So we're gonna start off with the really big dragonfly on here, okay? And we will be using basic black to stamp with. All right. Now let's see. Ink this up nice. Okay. Oh, I should probably tell you what we're making. Um, we are actually making a bookmark. Just a quick and pretty easy bookmark that looks that looks like you put a little extra effort into it. And I am not concerned about how light I got it there. Um, we're going to be covering it up with something so it won't be as obvious. Okay. You see me pushing on the back. This is a very detailed stamp. So sometimes the details, I find they're, uh, they stamp better if you pick it up and push them on the back a little. But I'm just struggling apparently because it's in the same spot every time. So <laughs> let's try the last one and see how well we do. I'm trying to really ink it up. Okay. Sometimes these detail ones, if you have a Stampin' Mat that you can get from Stampin' Up, it just goes behind it, will help it stamp better. But that's another thing I just don't have yet. It's okay though. Okay, so I'm just kinda trying to push on the back and make sure I really get a detailed stamp there. There, that last one looked good. That's okay, I'm gonna cover, like I said, we're gonna cover that up a little bit today. So it's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, next we are going to be um, using the butterfly wing, or the dragonfly wings. Um, and we are going to use some of our stamp and write markers. I actually, this is the 2016-2018 in color set, and we are going to be using Peekaboo Peach, uh, Flirty Flamingo, and Dapper Denim. And we're going to do a technique I haven't shown you before, okay? So our Stampin' Write markers all have two tips on them. They have a paintbrush tip and like a detail tip. We're gonna use our paintbrush tip, and I am actually gonna create a variegation in these wings. So I'm going to color with my paintbrush tip with peekaboo peach first and I'm going to kind of do it in the inner part right here. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to use our flirty flamingo just a little bit further over. on both sides to make this even. And then Dapper Denim, we're gonna use its paintbrush tip. My Dapper Denim for some reason is a lot juicier than my other two, so it kinda pools a little. But that's okay, it still looks cool. Okay, so those are all painted on. Now I'm gonna take my blender pen it's a blender pen right here. I'm going to turn it sideways so it's easier. And I'm going to make sure there's, oh, from blending earlier. It's okay. Let's get that color off. Okay. We're going to do in between the peach and pink first. Just kind of blend them together. And then between the blue and pink to kind of give it a little bit more of a variegated look. Okay, and then we can just do that with the blender pen now it's clean again okay now we're gonna do something called huffing now I it's hard to show this to you from where I am but I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put it up to my mouth and I'm gonna go <sighs> across it okay to re moisten the ink from the markers okay so that means you can take your time with coloring it and then just re moisten it with your breath and then I'm going to line this up over the dragonfly wings and push down And there you go. See how cool that is? 
and how easy that was. So I'm just gonna do the other two that same way. With the same color order that I did before. Probably be helpful if you can see what I'm doing, huh? There we go. So, yeah, we're gonna do this again. Sorry, I feel like I'm boring right now. So I've been out of the loop lately because I actually fell down the, on the ice and hurt my back and it's and my neck and my shoulders. And it's been really hard to do anything lately. So I apologize for not being on here as much. Um, I just needed a, needed a little bit of R&R &R time. Um, I did go to the doctor. They told me nothing is broken. I got some good ibuprofen and, a, and another medication to help me out. So that's good. And I should be completely back to normal, hopefully in like a week. Today I am feeling a little bit better than I have been. I got a massage this morning and that seemed to help. A little bit. It's been a while since I've had a massage, so it was kind of nice. I miss having a roommate who's, who's a massage therapist. I miss you, Barbara. If you're watching this, I miss you. But you know, we both had to get married and move on with our lives. Oh, that one, I didn't, uh, did I blender pen that? I didn't, did I? I just moved on. <gasps> That's okay, it still looks okay. So see, without the blender pen, it still looks cool. It's just still got a little bit more of a variegation in there. I'm gonna do this one without the blender pen too. <sighs> I'm gonna be a rebel to my own design. Yes, I am. Okay, push down nice and firm. Okay, now we're gonna do the same type of thing we just did, but with the body. Okay, I, and I and myself am coloring the body peach. Now this one I didn't use the blender pen on, or I'm not going to use the blender pen on. And then do about half of that in pink and half in the blue and huff it just to make sure it's still moist and color in the body you guys I love this technique I haven't done it in a while so I've, I've been trying to think of a way to do this technique and make it look cool oops I need pink next So if you watched my last video, you know I have an online class that I am filling up right now. I will actually be closing it tomorrow for pre-orders. So if you want to sign up for it, make sure you get in there pretty quick. Um, and I will put a link um, to the occasion, or I'm sorry, the celebration catalog so you can pick out your free item. Um, reminder, $50 spent this month earns you a free item from the celebration catalog, which is awesome. And there is no limit on that. Okay, there's no cap. So spend 50, get one free item. Spend 100, get two free items. It's awesome. Also, if you're thinking about joining Stampin' Up, it's an awesome time for that too. Because um, you get to pick two free stamp sets on top of what you're already getting. So it's an awesome time. We're going to do one other technique on this to kind of um, give it a little bit more dimension. We'll see if this works. Um, what we do is you just flick from the end Let's see if we're getting any dots. Yeah, you get little dots. So you basically put the paint side in the cap, push the side, and flick it out. So I will show you this up close in a second so you can see the splatter we're getting. But it kind of gives it, oh, and I just touched it. I got too close and touched it. It gives it a little bit more texture, which is always fun. Always do this with background paper, though, okay? So you, can you see those splotches? I'm gonna do it with all three colors that I colored the wings with. Okay. And the dapper denim is probably gonna work the best because it is the most moist of my markers. 
but this has given us a little bit of di um, dimension, a little texture, and it's a nice way to be able to use the Stampin' Write markers just for one more thing, you know? Um, I love the Stampin' Write markers, but sometimes I don't, you know, think about what I can do with them. Yeah, we're getting some nice blue splotches on there. And this, I, I rotate my tip so it doesn't hurt it, it just keeps it in a point. There we go. Do you see, okay, you see the dimension there. Um, later I will show you the other one I did and I didn't do this to it, but that kind of just makes it feel like it's not a whole bunch of empty spaces on your paper. Okay, so now we have a piece of some of our designer series paper from the 2016, 2018 in color stack. And this piece is three inches by nine inches. Three inches by nine inches. And I am going to put polka dots up so that you can read what it says on the back when you look at the back of it, okay? And we will be using some of our snail adhesive. Okay. And just kind of center that in the middle of our pokey dots. And because I just splattered it, I'm going to turn it over to push on it. So I don't rub my fingers across it because you know my fingers don't get don't stay clean when I'm working okay and we're gonna do one more thing with this okay one more thing we're gonna take a piece of our watermelon wonder yeah watermelon wonder sorry um, mini striped ribbon this is available in the annual catalog I'm just gonna cut a piece of it um, about oh I should have showed you me doing that on camera sorry um, I think it's about a five inch long piece. And I kind of turn it like that. Place it behind here. And then take my handy dandy stapler. And staple it together. You can see behind how it's stapled so it will hold. And that's our bookmark. Let me show you the one I did before. And this one I didn't splatter. And I may go back and splatter it because I actually it makes it look more complete with the splatters. I like that. All right, so that's our video. Um, make sure that you check me out on the jamandstamper.com. I will have, that's my blog. I have links to everything. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me any questions. Make sure if you like this video, you give it a big thumbs up. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe and you're not already, make sure you hit the big red subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications from me, hit the little bell to the side of it. All right, you guys, have a good one. Bye.